set up more of the car to pair a phone obviously you hit tell and again I scroll down to OK to connect search for new phone you guys know how to pair a phone back here is back or exit so every time I hit that it's gonna go back one step in the setup page and to set up the rest of the car it'd be my car internet setting side mirror setting again I hit OK to go into side mirror that's do you want the uh, mirrors to fold in every time you hit lock or again when you put it in reverse some people like to have the mirrors it kind of tilts down and give you the curb view I don't like it but if you parallel park a lot maybe at least you like to do it so you don't run up the curb on your nice shiny new rims light setting we'll go into that that's uh when you hit unlock do you want your headlights or uh, uh lights to come on i do your interior lights home safe light what is that one okay when you turn the car off and it's dark at night would you like the headlights to stay on for a little bit i'm gonna guess and say you want 30 seconds <coughs> daytime running lamps obviously I always let them on leave them on again we'll go back one step and some of this if I don't know because it is a Swedish made vehicle the full owner's manuals in there sorry if I'm gonna not know some of this steering force level I think that is you can adjust how loose or tight the steering wheel is that's kind of interesting so play with that. Sometimes some settings like that are so minor. Uh, speed and infotainment display. I want to know the, my speed. Go back. Again, there's driver support systems. Voice control systems. Command list I always like. So some of this you're going to struggle through again with the help of your owner's manual. Climate settings. Auto rear defrost. Auto driver seat heater. If you turn on the car and it's cold, it'll automatically turn on heated seats, which is kind of nice. So I think that kind of would sum this up. Again, if this was a Chevy, a Ford, or heck, even a, a Mercedes, I would have been a little more fluent in my training session. But again, thank you for your uh, business, guys. And I really appreciate meeting both of you.